Hi everyone! In this video you will see how to use the Replay Flights website to share the GPS track of your flight in a 3D map. As a result you will be able to take a file from your GPS tracker, upload it and send a link to someone with a spectacular 3D view of your flight in an interactive map. At the end of the video there will be some more information about the terrain model that can be important for analyzing your flights and the terrain, so make sure to see that part too. I'm Jakub. I created the Replay Flights as a tool for sharing paragliding flights with my friends and many paragliders know it already, so today I'm going to show you something different instead. We are going to analyze and share a wingsuit flight by my friend Erwin. Replay flights can open many kinds of files, including this CSV file recorded on a flyside device by Erwin, when he made a nice flight from the Gichen Peak in Switzerland. His name is not in the file metadata, so we can manually enter it here and expand the flight details and enter the equipment name here. And since we're here, let's choose a nice color for the flight, a bright red color for a good contrast. We can see that the track starts a couple of minutes before the flight and continues for some time after the landing, so we can use the trim button to cut off those parts automatically. So now we see only the actual flight in the timeline. This track was recorded in Switzerland and the Swiss Federation provides very high quality map data to the public. So thanks to that we can just open the map options and select Swiss satellite image and Let's turn on Swiss 3D buildings model, that includes also trees, cables and so on. Swiss Federation also provides high resolution terrain data, so within the territory of Switzerland the terrain model is going to be very accurate. More on that at the end of the video. But let's check also the GPS track now, because GPS is often inaccurate and here it looks like the track is in inside the cliff, so let's correct it. I turn off camera tracking for now so that the picture stays still and the camera is not moving when we use the manual adjustment tool to make very small adjustments to the flight track. First let's lift the track a couple of meters up so that it's not inside the mountain and we can actually see what's going on. And it looks like the exit is actually located here. So let's click here to move the whole track to that place with the current pilot position as the reference point. Okay, this looks better. So now let's decrease the playback speed to 1 so that the track will play in real time. This button with the glasses will switch camera to first person perspective so that we basically see what the pilot could see. We can also make the track invisible now, so that it's not obscuring the view. And let's also close the map options and the details panel. So this is showing the base wingsuit flight from the pilot's perspective now. You can see that the tiles are still loading in the background, it's because it's the first playback from this point of view. But uh, doesn't matter, let's just enjoy this spectacular flight by Erwin now. In fact, uh, let me collapse these panels and switch to full screen. We could also hit Alt plus H on the keyboard to completely hide all UI elements and only have the map visible. When I hit Alt plus H again, it will show all the buttons and charts again. In fact, let me expand the timeline chart a bit more. And when it is expanded, there is a little drop-down menu on the left with options of what to plot. Like for example, vertical speed or glide ratio. We can see right away that there is a decrease in the rate of sync. I mean, Erwin's fall is slowing down there. And the change in glide ratio is there too, so that's probably the flare and opening of the canopy. We can see some more dips in the vertical speed chart, so let's check what's happening there. Let me exit the first person view and uh, make the track visible again, and zoom out and see 
that Erwin is doing aggressive turns here, so that explains the diving. Now let's try to share this flight, so I can send it to Erwin. I can just click the share button and it will generate a link to this flight at the exact same time and same camera angle and playback speed and so on. And since it was playing when I hit the share button, after opening it will autoplay. There is one thing that you need to know when it comes to terrain. In Switzerland the terrain model is quite accurate, but outside of Switzerland it can be a little bit distorted, especially the vertical cliffs. Let's check in Italy for example in the Dolomites. You can see that the cliffs are uh, sloped here, but in reality these walls are really vertical from what I remember. So uh, it looks like the terrain was averaged a little bit and it's not very precise. So at this time only Switzerland has this high quality terrain model. Maybe in the future there will be some more free models like that from other countries. That was all for now. Thanks to Erwin for the footage and the GPS tracks for this video. Thank you for watching and listening and also a huge thanks to all subscribers who got the pro subscription on replay flights. It gives you access to worldwide high resolution satellite maps because the free version has only a middle resolution maps. Of course if you share your flights with someone they will see it in high resolution too. It costs 5 bucks a month and that covers the costs of the high resolution map but there are also other cool features included and it is an enormous help for the replay flights project so thank you again.